Hey guys, so we're trying Borazo White and my very first time ever trying this uh, frame back Swedish steel. Let me get started by saying hello. Uh, June 24th, I think it is. If that frame back does not work, then I have this uh, 7 8 Cataragus Cutlery. I'm not sure what edge this has. I already put the pre-shave oil, which is uh, poor man's. And uh, this uh, thickened up pretty good. This Borazo White. Let's just get right into it. First time trying a frame back. First time trying a Borazo shaving cream. This really has a, a interesting smell. Has like a like a green tea kind of smell to it. Um, like nothing I've ever with shaving cream. Uh, nothing I've smelled before. This has a J Nut Edge Nakayama, and uh, let's see how we did with the honing. And if not, my Super 88 just arrived, and I'll probably use that. Anyways, I'll still rehone it because I want it to be with Super 88. So I don't think I have to say anything. I think it's pretty obvious that um, this razor still needs some work. For comparison, I'll take the uh, cataracts here. So I don't know about you guys, but if you guys are into uh, series, but that new uh, Game of Thrones, uh, Clash of the Dragons or whatever came out, and it's pretty good. I like it. Yeah. 
This still needs some work. For sure. So I'm not even going to bother you guys with the uh, against the grain with this one because uh, it's not worth it. I already know what's going to happen. So we're going to finish the shave off with the cataragus. Uh, I mean, it was shaving, but uh, not where I want it to perform. So I'm not going to use it if uh, I know it's not going to give me the results I don't want. And there's no need for me to have some aftershave sting when that can be avoided and I can just rehone it. Okay, here we are again with the cataragus. I'm pretty sure this was a cauticle edge last time I worked on it. Not sure. But uh just give it a shot. Making sure I don't have any soap on my on my hand. Slowly getting better at the uh, fool, Fool's Pass. Okay, so we have some club band. Checking for sting here. Yeah, there's some sting there. I don't think that, uh, that frame back was ready just yet. And so that's a learning experience. So we get to hone some more. And so what do I think about the uh, Porasso White? I like it. Um, it's a nice soap. It's a pretty big tube. And uh, I feel like it's a bang for your buck. The smell is interesting for sure with this white. And it can go pretty, pretty thick if you want it, Let's see. All right, so I give that a, so I give Parasso White 
a solid eight out of 10. I like it. I can see myself getting more of it. Let's finish off with some witch's hazel. That's always like the go-to. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'll work with the frame back off camera. And uh, I have some other projects I have at Camisoni that I restored. And I also have a, uh, a wedge. I don't think I've ever shaved with a wedge as well. Um, that one uh, is also a vintage. The Camisoni is a vintage. The Camisoni was really rusted. I really had to take away some metal. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. This is Sean Staplefield. This is my channel. I do honing and talk about shaving and talk about other things like Game of Thrones or uh, House of the Dragons. That's the name. Really good. So if you guys are watching it, let me know. And uh, have a good rest of the week.